Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to the name of the Lord for another beautiful day. We thank God for today, the 19th day of the month of October, year 2022. We appreciate the Lord for His mercy, His loving kindness, the extension of His grace over our lives. Whatever you are, just bless His name, worship Him, appreciate Him, glorify the name of the Lord. He's worthy of all praise, worthy to be honored, worthy to be magnified, worthy to be lifted up. He is an awesome God. Thank Him. Thank Him. In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved, if you are joining this program for the first time, this is High Voltage Prayer Program. High Voltage Prayer Program. Don't forget, the Bible says, right from the days of John the Baptist, even up to now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent may take it by four. Matthew 11, verse 12. And also remember that the more you pray, the more you discover. And the more you discover, the more you recover. The more you recover, the more you possess your possession. I pray that you will discover the secret that is sustaining that battle in your life, and you will recover what the enemy has stolen, and then your destiny shall be fulfilled. You will possess your possession in Jesus' name. Every good thing that has been taken away from your life shall be restored back to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the strong man that is standing on your way shall be pulled down and the power of the Lord shall lift you up. The Almighty God will connect you with people that matters. You will be at the right place at the right time. Your voice of heaven will speak for you. The finger of heaven will fight for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spell upon your children shall be broken. Embargo of darkness upon your children shall scatter. The power that is casting spell over your children shall be disgraced. The strong man attached to the destiny of your children shall be buried in the name of Jesus Christ. Just appreciate the Lord and bless his name. Give him glory. Take a song that you like and appreciate the Lord with it. Uh -huh. Glorify the Lord with it. He is able. Abundantly able oh, to deliver and to save. My God is able. Abundantly able, also deliver and to set us free. Open your mouth and say this prayer loud and clear. Say, Blood of Jesus, go down to my foundation and deliver me from inherited cause in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, go down to my foundation and deliver me from inherited cause. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, go down to my foundation and deliver me from inherited cause. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, go down to my foundation and deliver me from inherited cause. In Jesus' name, pray. Say every satanic decree against my life be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every satanic decree against my life be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every satanic decree against my family be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every satanic decree against my family be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every satanic decree against my family be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every satanic decree against my family be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. When you take the prayer, you personalize it. Say, every wicked plan against me in the dark be exposed and be frustrated. In the name of Jesus, every wicked plan against me in the dark be exposed and be frustrated. In the name of Jesus, every wicked plan against me in the dark be exposed and be frustrated. In the name of Jesus, every wicked plan against me in the dark, be exposed and be frustrated. In the name of Jesus, every wicked plan against me in the dark, be exposed and be frustrated. In the name of Jesus, every wicked plan against me in the dark, be exposed and be frustrated. In Jesus' name we pray. That prayer, I want you to take your time to pray that prayer very well. On your own, take your time and pray that prayer. Spend five to ten minutes on that prayer. The Lord is going to open your eyes and show you something. Say, I withdraw my strength 
from the hand of strange personality in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my strength from the hand of strange personality. If your strength has been captured by a strange woman, say, I withdraw my strength from the hand of the strange woman. And if a strange man say, I withdraw my strength from the hand of the strange man, it's going to be, it's going to go a long way in the name of Jesus Christ. Say this one, say every assembly of the wicked contending against my marriage, contending against my destiny, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every assembly of the wicked contending against my marriage, contending against my destiny, scatter in the name of Jesus. If you are a pastor or a minister, say every assembly of the wicked contending against my calling, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every assembly of the wicked contending against my calling, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every assembly of the wicked contending against my calling, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every every assembly of the wicked contending against my destiny, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every assembly of the wicked contending against my destiny scatter in the name of jesus every assembly of the wicked if you're a businessman say every assembly of the wicked contending against my business scatter in the name of jesus every assembly of the wicked contending against my destiny scatter in the name of jesus every assembly of the wicked contending against my marriage scatter in jesus name we pray i also pray that you i pray that god will fight for us and I, i want to advise you to take time and pray that prayer also very well. The next one I want you to pray now, you will take your time to pray very well. Say, any power walking closer to me to uncover my nakedness be disgraced openly in the name of Jesus. Any power walking closer to me to uncover my nakedness, to uncover my nakedness means to expose your secret. Any power walking closer to me to uncover my nakedness, be exposed and be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Any power walking closer to me to uncover my nakedness, be exposed and be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Any power walking closer to me to uncover my nakedness, be exposed and receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. Any power walking closer to me to uncover my nakedness, be exposed and be disgraced, be exposed and be disgraced, be exposed and be disgraced. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Now you will shout with aggression. Say, my destiny. Come out from every bondage that limits you. In the name of Jesus. My destiny. Come out from every bondage that limits you. In the name of Jesus. My destiny. Come out from every bondage that limits you. In the name of Jesus. My destiny. Come out. From every bondage that limits you in the name of Jesus, my destiny. Come out from every bondage that limits you in the name of Jesus, my destiny. Come out, 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 come out from every bondage that limits you in Jesus' name. Pray. You can put the name of your child, you can mention your name, put the name of your child and say you mention his name, say come out from the bondage that limits you. Very, very important. Then pray this one now. Thank you, Father. Things are happening there now. Say, every wicked plan to unseat me from my position in life be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Every wicked plan to unseat me from my position in life be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Every wicked plan to unseat me from my position in life be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Every wicked plan to unseat me from my position in life, be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Every wicked plan to unseat me from my position in life, be frustrated in Jesus' name. Please say every move of the enemy against my star be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Every move of the enemy against my star be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Every move of the enemy against my star. Be paralyzed in Jesus' name. We pray. Don't forget, you can always pray this prayer as you pray for yourself. You pray for your children. You can put anyone into the blanket, into the bracket. You can say, against my star, against my children, against this, and it will always work for them. Say, every witchcraft struggle to redesign my life. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft struggle to redesign my life. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft struggle to redesign my life. Ah, 
in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft struggle to redesign my life. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft struggle to redesign my life. Ah, in Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. You see, a lot of things, a lot of things have happened in that place. Aha. Uh -huh. Now there is somebody that needs to pray this one because the enemy is planning seriously against you in your place of work. I want you to pray this one and take your time to pray it so much. Take your time, pray this prayer very, very well. Please, very, very well. I say very, very well because God will use this prayer to fight for you. Say every wicked strategy to pull me down in my place of work, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every wicked strategy to pull me down in my place of work, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every wicked strategy to pull me down in my place of work, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every wicked strategy to pull me down in my place of work, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every wicked strategy to pull me down in my place of work, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every wicked strategy to pull me down in my place of work, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every wicked strategy to pull me down in my place of work, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every wicked strategy to pull me down in my place of work, scatter in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Aha. Uh -huh. Yesterday we were talking on why problems of people come back. Many go to church to pray. Many go for deliverance. Many go for a lot of spiritual exercises. But they find out that after some time, this problem come back to their lives. And this time around, it come back forcefully to the extent that many of them are frustrated Many of them could not even come back to the kingdom again. The reason is because there are many, many things that we do. We place so much on the on this. Uh, uh, we place so much with our spirituality. We place so much. We we we, we place so much on the spiritual warfare. We are really in battle, and we should need, we should understand that the world is deeper than what we can see. The world is very very deep. The battle we are fighting is deep. If your spiritual eyes is closed, you will not see anything. So this is the last days. And the Bible says, watch and pray. It's a time that our designing uh, strength should be clear. Our spiritual senses should be wide open. We shouldn't walk blindfolded this time. This is the last days. And in last days, there are seductions, seducing spirit, dangerous spirit all around. It is not the time. The Bible says that those that these days have met, you know, the, the, in fact, it, 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 what the Bible called qualified what will happen is a very dangerous thing. So if we have, uh, uh, we have opportunity to be here on earth at this time, then we should not be naive for what the Bible has said. We should understand what the Bible is really telling us. So problems of life come back to, to many people and it come back because there are things that people have never taken time to undo very well. You know, they have not taken time to undo. We have gone through the scripture yesterday. Let's just see one of them. Luke chapter 11, verse 24 to 20, 26. He said, when the unclean spirit is got out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and finding none. He said, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth the place swept and garnished, meaning that that fellow well, that place was not filled up, you know, was not filled up with things, with good things. Then go at he and take care to him seven other spirits. Why? Because he knows that as he's coming now, he doesn't want to miss that apartment. And he doesn't want anybody to chase him out of the place the way they've chased him out at the beginning. He has to go to reinforce. That is what we call reinforcement in, the, in, the, in deliverance. That's what we call reinforcement, regrouping, coming back, reinforce. So he has to go and reinforce with seven more wicked spirit, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. And that's a very terrible thing. The last state, that is why when you see some people who have been born again for some time, you see them again. By the time they bust like this, they are, they are, they, you will not know that they are born again before. They will look very, very terrible. They will enter into things they have not been doing before. They will begin to speak again those things that you have, they have been, the things they have, they have embraced before. Very terrible. 
No wonder the Bible says that who has bewitched you to even speak against what you have accepted. So it's a terrible thing, beloved. So what we are saying is that the problem of people can come back. Problem of life of people can come back. We are to safeguard, we are to barricade ourselves from allowing problem we have chased out through prayers to come back. It's a very terrible thing when problem that you have chased out in prayer, in fasting, is coming back to your life. Why do problem come back? When? Why do problem come back? Number one, when the ladder of darkness is in your life. Ladder of darkness is something that has given an inroad into the enemy, inroad for the enemy to stay. When the material of darkness are in your life, when evil deposit, they are in your life. When you've gotten involved in secret sin, why do people come? Why do problem come back? When you backslided, when you backslided, definitely problem will come back. The Bible say, John chapter five verse fourteen says, "Sin no more, lest a walk sin come unto thee." When you backslided, it's a terrible thing to backslid. You know, it's a terrible thing. That is number five. Number six, when you have not gone through, uh, you know, when you have experienced what we call partial deliverance. Partial deliverance is when the acts of God has not been allowed to touch the root of the problem. You have just attacked the branches and you cut off the leaves. You have not allowed the the, problem, the acts of God to cut the, the, the root. And what I mean by that is that uh, you have not been truthful enough to expose, you know, the, the real thing. You are just, you have, you have probably, uh, you have told the minister of God, you have told the deliverance pastors or minister of God, you have told them just a peripheral of the whole thing. You have not told them that there are some other things. And we've forgotten that in the realm of the spirit, there's no secret. There's no, there's no hiding. You can't say you are hiding it. You know, they will see everything that is going on there. So many a times, many of us, we think we are hiding some things and it is always a legal ground for the enemy to come back. So the kind of deliverance that person will receive is partial deliverance Deliverance of cutting of the leaf and of cutting of the branches. You know, that kind of deliverance will always cause a step a comeback. Uh, the next point, number seven, I think number seven now, is um, when you are using wrong words. When your words are always negative. You are already, God has helped you, but now you are speaking negative to your life every day. The word you speak, they are not real. You have never spoken positive statement, you are in a situation, you are speaking negative word, it will allow the problem to come back. It will allow the problem to come back into your life. These are things we need to work against. I pray that God will guide us, God will help us, and the problems of our life will not return back to us. As a Christian, you must learn to speak positive statement. Don't ever speak any negative word, because our words are life. Our words are spirit. We don't just speak word. The devil ride on word. And you must know that you can create things by your words. So that is why you speak wrong words in your life. You speak wrong words to your children. No matter what your children is passing to, prophesy positive things to their life. Prophesy positive things to their destiny. Your word will always work over their life. Don't forget as a parent, you have a spiritual authority over your children. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. We're going to stop here and continue from where we we'll stop tomorrow. Close your eyes and talk to the Lord. Father, I need you to help me. I want you to come into my life. I want you to see me through. Lord, minister to me, Lord. Father, assist me by your power. Assist me, O oh Lord. I need your hand. I need your power. I need you to take care of my life. Confess your sin unto him. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you bring your bottle of water if you have one? Or you get a bottle of oil. Father, we thank you for this fit material. We appreciate you because you are the Lord that never fails. We are here with this fit material. Lord, let them be anointed by your power. Let your fire flow into this water and into this oil. Let this water and this oil begin to perform divine surgery in the life of everyone. As, the, as you take in this oil, as you take in this water, every spirit of infirmity shall be destroyed. Evil pregnancy shall disappear. Five blood shall disappear. The anointing of fire enter into this water. The anointing of deliverance enter into this water. The anointing for quick recovery enter into this water. The anointing that break the yoke enter into this water. Enter into the oil in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Please, can you anoint yourself? Anoint, the, anoint your body. 
look at the part of your body, see the one that is not functioning very well, anoint it, anoint your bone, anoint your waist, anoint your chest, anoint your head, anoint your hands. And when you are anointing them, as I used to tell you, see Holy Ghost fire, penetrate if it's your hand, penetrate into my hand and deliver my hand from captivity. If it's your leg, Holy Ghost fire, penetrate into my leg and deliver my leg from captivity. When you do it aggressively, you will notice that arthritis will disappear. You will notice that that's your leg that is not as, that is shorter, will come out to the, to, you will just notice instant reactions of the mighty move of God's power. See, Holy Ghost fire, penetrate into my heart, into my leg and deliver my leg from captivity. And as you are saying it, mighty move of God, mighty power of God will begin to release upon you. I trust the Lord. The Almighty God will answer our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Also drink a little of the water and as we enter into this prayer. We have three prayers to pray. And you have to pray the prayer very well. Say the first one with aggression. Say every seed of the enemy in my life. Seed. S W E D. Every seed of the enemy in my life be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Every seed of the enemy in my life be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Every seed of the enemy in my life be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Every seed of the enemy in my life be roasted by fire in Jesus' name. Pray. This is number two. There's somebody that is sick now. Immediately you pray this next one. The power of God shall deliver you from that sickness. Say all physical and spiritual poison in my life be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all physical and spiritual poison in my life be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all physical and spiritual poison in my life be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now with fire, now you are going to pray this one. Say, Holy, say, Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. Send your axe of fire to the root of my problems and set me free. That prayer, please, I beg you to pray that prayer for five minutes. Oh, Lord, my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. Oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. Oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. Oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. Oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. Oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. Oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. Oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. Oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free. Oh Lord my Father, send your axe of fire to the root of my problem and set me free in Jesus' name. Pray. Take your time on that prayer and you will see a lot of things God will do. I want to pray on your request now. If you have listed them, hold them in your hand. If you have not done, just place your hand on your chest. Father, we thank you because you are God that answered prayer. I pray that right away all the requests in the hands of your children shall be attended to. Holy Ghost, incubate this request and let there be testimony. Let everyone approve this request and let your people be full of testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke in your life is broken. The yoke of childlessness is broken. The yoke of marital delay is broken. The yoke of poverty is broken. The yoke of occultic power is broken. The yoke of seeing yourself in a dream going back to square one is broken. The yoke of poverty is broken. The yoke of infirmity is broken. The yoke of sickness is broken. The yoke of disappointment is broken. The yoke of delay is broken. The yoke of frustration is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the power of God will set you free. And we shall celebrate with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved, God has done a mighty work in this uh, program. And I, I'm sincere. I, I'm fat. I'm so much convinced in my heart that testimony is coming. I can see that man already. The Lord has fought for you right now. The trap of the enemy set for you has caught fire. And the Lord is setting you free. Thank you, Father. Somebody is going to receive uncommon favor this, uh, this week. Somebody is going to bless you and take you up and lift you up. 
the hand of the Lord is coming mightily upon several people, and the yoke program into their life by their stepmothers have been broken. Thank you, Father. Aha! Glory be to the name of the Lord. There's mighty work that is going on. There's mighty work that is going on. Leko bralu su parati leko vahu sataka lento su paraburatu di mukhu simbi amuka gatika dia ali kaburi amasi kapari amaruntu li mukumbaru kada gedi leko gosi amu praus katila ilakumbra busoto kaya. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Beloved, you can send your testimony across to us on this WhatsApp number 0802-336-9298. 0802-336-9298. I fellowship at Mountain of Fire American Ministry. Our international headquarters, where God is doing wonders through our Father, the Lord, Dr. D.K. Ulukoya, is there at number 13 on Lassimbo Street. Unike Sabuyaba, it just there behind the, uh, you know, at the back of the second gate of Unilag, and so 10 minute drive from Queen's College. Oh, I want you to really get a text of what God is doing in Martin of Fire Miracle Ministry. The Lord will continue to uphold you, the Lord will strengthen you, the Lord will keep you, and the Lord will bless you. Do you know that we have our branches and regions and zones all over you, all over the, all over the states and outside the country, and all over the country and outside the country. Just take a a walk to them and ask them they will be of help to you. Don't forget these last days, God is set to set his own people free. And I know that by the grace of God when the trumpet is blown, we shall all hear and be rapturable. God bless you in Jesus' name. I remain your friend, Pastor Emmanuel Akiola. God bless you.